Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, Rachel Hollis is at it again. Gotta love it. So, she's found herself in some hot water once again, and I just figured we should take a look. I mean, there's no harm in taking a look. I personally don't mind that this is happening to her because she's not a nice person. She steals from people, plagiarizes nonstop. It is what it is at this point. Okay. So I just want to show you something because I have called her out before for the plagiarism thing. She's like the ultimate hun bot. She's very involved in MLM companies. She's gone to speak at like, I think maybe five different MLM conferences. So she's like, and she markets these books heavily to MLM consultants. So you're probably wondering like in the first place why I even care so much. That's why. She totally takes advantage of people who are already, you know, very vulnerable. A lot of those people like to read like the self-help books to try to get their, you know, try to get sales and try to get through difficult times because what they're doing is like just straight up not natural. Like to feel that much anxiety trying to sell things and like to experience what they experience with the other consultants and like the work atmosphere that these consultants experience, it's not normal. So a lot of them have to turn to self-help books to try to like push through and most of them see Rachel Hollis as like an icon. You know, I'm so glad that people are starting to really see the light here. But I just want to show you because she did not like that I started to call her out, which is just funny to me because I'm really, in the grand scheme of things, like who am I? I'm a nobody. Um, but here's like, let me just show you really quick. So I have to click, I had to find this on the For You page. And then I'm going to click on her, yeah, I'm blocked. I'm blocked. So it is what it is. Um, but anyway, so this is an article, why the author of Girls Stop Apologizing had to apologize twice in a week. So I kind of saw Trisha Paytas talk about this, of all people. And I was like, what? Why is she calling her like toilet girl? Like what, like, what happened? So basically I'll explain to you. Well, actually it, it all can be summarized in this now deleted video that was put on TikTok, I believe, after she posted this on Instagram, which of course I would not have seen because I was blocked. So that's, I preface this by saying that. So this has now been deleted, but is anything ever deleted? I guess not. Doing a live stream. And I mentioned that there's a sweet woman who comes to my house twice a week and cleans. She's my, my house cleaner. She cleans the toilets. Someone commented and said, you are privileged AF. And I was like, you're right. I'm super freaking privileged, but also I work my ass off to have the money to have someone come twice a week and clean my toilets. And I told her that. And then she said, well, you're unrelatable. <gasps> what is it about me that made you think I want to be relatable? No, sis. Literally everything I do in my life is to live a life that most people can't relate to. Most people won't work. I'm sorry, hold on. Just like, I know that this is not necessarily about MLMs, but it's the, the way that she talks is so condescending and patronizing that it reminds me I'm getting, I deal with a lot of M, like MLM consultants, like snarky, like very mad every day, almost every day. And she sounds the exact way that they sound. It's creepy. It's it's very creepy. She's like, what makes you think that I want to be real? Like, she has a wild look in her eyes. I'm like, uh, I'm scared. This hard. Most people won't get up at 4 a.m. Most people won't fail publicly again and again just to reach the top of the mountain. She doesn't mention what, what she's failed publicly at. You got caught plagiarizing not once, not twice, not even three times, several times. You plagiarized your best-selling book, you plagiarized Instagram quotes, and recently, you plagiarized Maya Angelou. Oops. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big mess up. But don't worry, when she got caught with those things, she, uh, she blamed it on her team which is a running theme. Every time she gets caught with something, she blames it on her team. Keep it in mind. Literally every woman I admire in history was unrelatable. If my life is relatable to most people, I'm doing it wrong. Doing a live stream and I mentioned- 
Okay, so this is what's got people really mad. Besides the fact that it's like, what normal, decent person gets online and says those things? Like, get a therapist. Like, tell this to a therapist. But she's like, stunting on people. Yeah, well, I wake up at 4 a.m. Yeah, really? Well, I wake up at 4 a.m., so I have the money to have somebody clean my toilets. Do you? Oh, it's like, you need to relax. But... Anyway, so this is what's really got people like mad, and I can to I can see why, and it's literally it it's insane. The video caption reads: Harriet Tubman, R. B. G. Marie Curie, Oprah Winfrey, Amelia Earhart, Frida Kahlo, Malala Yousaf. I don't know how to say that. Sorry, and then I don't know how to say that either. All unrelatable AF. Happy Women's History Month. So a lot of people are like, okay. You're clearly comparing yourself to all these people, saying, well, they're unrelatable, I'm unrelatable, so we're the same. But what's really just, like, I mean, it's kind of funny. It's not, fu it's not funny, but it's, it's like, it's so bad that it's funny to, to say that Harriet Tubman was unrelatable, like, based on her life, like, what happened in the course of her life, which was slavery escaping slavery going back to free the slaves um yeah i guess that would be unrelatable really good comparison <laughs> what's wrong with this girl it's like what are you thinking what are you thinking how, how and and don't even start okay don't even start saying oprah winfrey you're anything like oprah winfrey no 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 don't start with me with that one okay i will fight you on that one for real. This article goes on to say like some of the things that people said back and it says everyone works as hard as you do wrote one Twitter responder especially the woman on her hands and knees scrubbing your toilet while you prance around making videos about how much better you are than she is and call it work. Honestly so fucking true. That is so fucking true. Um, here's the part that like really 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 chaps my ass. So it says on April 4th, Hollis made her first apology, but it was an apology that displaced all blame for what happened onto those who Hollis said had misinterpreted her and a team that had failed to do so its job correctly. In a now deleted Instagram post, she maintained that she had not actually been comparing herself to any of the women that she had mentioned and that to believe that because I mentioned them, I am comparing myself to them is ludicrous. And then... She added that she had waited so long to respond to the backlash over her original video because she believed her team when they had said that he could handle things. Instead, I should have listened to my gut. Every time, I swear to you guys, every time this broad is in drama or it has done something wrong, and she likes to go, oh, all the rest of you who don't get up at 4 a.m., have you failed publicly to get to the top of the mountain? You mean the top of the pyramid, first of all? That's ironic. But she's like, yeah, well, I failed publicly. No, your team failed publicly because you always bla place the blame on your team. I, my heart goes out to your team because we all know that it wasn't them that posted that like whole thing that you posted. Nobody filmed that video for you. That is insane to say that your team did it. Nobody filmed that video for you. Like, not a single person, like, had a gun to your head saying, film it. Like, film this tone-deaf video right now and post it. Right now. <laughs> it's like, no one did that. And then, to blame it on our team, again, you guys, it, this is not real. To, this doesn't seem real. It really doesn't. It doesn't seem real to me. I'm so deeply sorry for the things I said in my recent post and the hurt I've caused in the past few days. By talking about my own success. Oh, okay, wait, here we go, here we go. So she, so here's what happened. She faced, after blaming it on her team, which is the, which is plan A, okay, always, plan A. Um, in the face of widespread criticism, Hollis would eventually delete this apology and replace it with another, which she's had to do before, uh, like I said. I am so deeply sorry for the things I said in my recent post and the hurt I have caused in the past few days, she wrote, adding, by talking about my own success, I diminish the struggles and hard work of many people who work tirelessly every day. 
And then she posted another one of her corny things. I'm not going to do this perfectly, but I'm going to speak from my heart. I am so deeply sorry. It's like, how do people still follow this lady? Oh, that's right. They're like pretty much all Hun bots who don't know any better. Um, and literally would probably die for this woman. It's so wild. These self-help gurus. I've kind of... I've touched on it before. It's a little bit controversial to say it, but I honestly, I like all of this self-help stuff. Kind of a scam. Kind of a scam. Okay. And, you know, it's like all, it's like this woman who all she does is say vague things because she'll never tell you the secret to her success. Nobody's going to give you like that special key. That's that's the that's what the whole scam about this self-help stuff is, if you know what I mean. It's it's carefully withholding the secret right out of your reach, but just giving you just general vague snippets of knowledge to keep you interested and to keep you buying their books because she doesn't say one thing in her books besides other people's quotes. That is gonna, that's gonna do anything for you, at all, okay? And it's funny because, and like I said, this article does say this too. But her brand is built on being relatable. It is built on, hey, I've experienced these problems and like everybody else, and I got through them. Or here's what I did. Like, isn't that the the whole idea of self help? Is you're helping other people get through issues that you've experienced I, I i couldn't see how you could write a book and and not understand the trials and tribulations of others so to get on here now it just shows how far detached some people are like this that was that video that she posted this one right here and that there's a sweet woman who comes to my house twice a week and my my house cleaner she cleans the toilets someone commented and said you are privileged af and I was like, you're right. I'm super freaking privileged, but also I work my ass off. This is like when she turns into a monster. Like that's, to me, that video was, now obviously it was a mistake, but it was her posting like who she is. Is it not? Like that's who she is. That's how she feels. That's what happens to these people. Like that's scary. And she continually writes books. She she did, I mean, it's it's absolutely insane. And I, you know, I don't really like to comment on people like other people's relationships necessarily. But like, these people were doing relationship before she got her divorce. She was doing relationship like seminars and helping like classes and things and giving out advice. Wait, didn't you get a divorce? That's not adding up. So, you know, it's just like, okay. Yeah. Okay, sure. You're not relatable anymore. So that should tell you everything that you need to know. That should tell you everything you need to know. I thought, personally, that the plagiarism thing told you everything that you needed to know before. Okay? Like, she successfully deflected that controversy, too, by blaming it on her team. She's like, oh, well, somebody runs my account. Like, of course, somebody, some, some idiot interns running my account. Sorry, like, they shouldn't have posted that. Oops. It's her. It's always been her. Because surely you would think, okay, did you fire that la the last team member that messed up, allegedly? Okay, so you probably got a new one. That's odd that they would make the same mistake. Again and again. And then again. It's like you're posting to your story, you're posting videos of yourself. Obviously, it's you running it. I just, I don't know. To me, it, it seems obvious. But anyway, I'm going to link this article below by Vox. And um, uh, the author is Constance Grady. Great article. Great, great little read. So, yeah, the reason why I wanted to bring it up is because I think it's really interesting. And, you know, like I said, like I kind of look at it from the anti MLM angle if I can be honest with you. She is like one of their ringleaders. Genuinely, she is. So it's just funny because th that's a, the way a lot of these people think. It's like these delusions of grandeur. 
you're like, wait a minute, you really think that you have it as hard as Harriet Tubman did? Oh. And they say things like that, too. Like, oh, my God, it's just like it triggers me so bad because it's like, okay, they say stuff like, yeah, well, other people don't work as hard as me. They'll say that to each other, too. Like, if you're not, if you're not doing well, they'll be like, it's because you don't work as hard. I put in the work. That's why I have the Arbon whatever, the, the, the Mercedes. That's why I have the Mercedes. And that's why you're not doing well, because you don't put in the work like I do. And you're not good enough. And everybody, it's like, and I'm unrelatable. Nobody else is like me. Nobody else is like me. I, I do the things that nobody else refuses, everybody else refuses to do. They say stuff like that. And they genuinely believe that they are like, they are trudging up a mountain. Like, they are going down the, the path least traveled. And they are like heroes for it. I'll, I'll never forget during like the start of the pandemic when Beachbody... The Beachbody CEO was calling Beachbody consultants heroes. Who remembers that? I'll never forget. He's like, you, you, Beachbody consultants, get out there and be heroes. The heroes I know you are. I'm like, I gotta log out. Like, this can't be real. So, anyway. Okay. That's all I wanted to say for today. Um, you know, got to report the news. Got to report the news from this channel. And I'm loving my new, like, streamer setup. So I made literally three videos today. I'm not joking. I filmed three videos because I'm just loving sitting here all day long, just going on the computer, looking stuff up. So, yeah, leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Any direction, I feel it right in my heart.